we get back to Mass parents who completely distract the boss by playing YouTube videos repeatedly. I love YouTube, but this park placement is getting old. And then after that, they decide to get divorced. Why? No, really. Why? Why? These characters are divorcing because... Story? That's it. It's the reason that everyone knows why. Story. But even if the story is the reason, there's still no explanation. I can't believe that they made mass parents flow with no emotion, and yet they still made them more dislikable. This is why I freaking hate the parents in this movie. And we're not even getting to the part where they meet again. After the most infamous joke that people really hate and consider one of the major reasons on why the humor is so terrible in this movie, Just Dance. Yes, we get to see another tutorial and Just Dance. Halfway into this movie, and I'd rather play Just Dance than this. And do I have to mention that this movie completely manipulates kids, which is why this movie was a success at the box office? I'm going to talk about that in my rant later in this review, and trust me, it will be a warning to anyone who has kids when they ever see this movie. Alex deletes the Just Dance app because it's causing a lot of malfunctioning problems, and now the app is about to get deleted. Which would take a very long time for the characters to have more time to escape. I really got a feeling that this movie is just doing this deletion thing way too long so we can at least have some more hope for the characters. Even though that we have no hope at all for the characters since they have no originality whatsoever. However, High Five didn't make it, which means that Matt and Jailbreak are on their own iTunes. Does anyone want to hear music throughout the entire movie one time instead of listening to this? I would. I have my hair raised. And then we get to the cliche romance in this movie. It's just phoned in, all because they really have nothing else to do in this movie. The romance thing is just forced and just thrown in now just because. I got nothing against the romance in this movie, but I'm just going to say that everything that what they're doing in this movie is just like this scene. Except that it's just more boring and just lazy. On how they just steal ideas and they can't even make up their own original ideas. Anyway, they save High Five from getting deleted from the trash. And the final obstacle is to get through the wildfire by saying the most important password. Yeah, and throughout the majority of the scene, Five Five just makes up ideals to see if which one is the real password. And then during that time, Matt is just keeps getting hit by fire repeatedly. Now I can understand why Amat say that High Five is a joke to man in this movie. And they made it to the destination on where High Five is about to hack. And if there's one thing that this movie does right, is the animation. And speaking of animation, let's get back to Mass Parents. They get back together. If you think that I'm skipping anything, then no, I wasn't. After the divorcing scene, this is the time where they meet again. Now you can understand why I freaking despise these characters. The fact that everything is just filler just wastes everyone else's time. However, you know what the sad thing about this whole thing is? The animation is the greatest part of this scene. And that is just freaking sad. When you make an emotional scene that fails, but the only thing that's good about it is the animation. I swear, the animators who made the animation in this movie are considered the most saddest people in this company. Seriously, I really feel bad for them. 
especially that they had to waste the talents on this movie. I think we should probably make a complete charity for the animators who suffered on making this movie. Seriously, they deserve more salute. The bots managed to get mad and they decided to delete him. However, Wild Style 2.0 is back. Do I really need to explain of how she got there? Smiley gets destroyed because High Five turned off the bot that completely fell on her. Yep, this is the last time we get to see our villain. And everyone forgets about her. I honestly thought that she got deleted, but that would be way too dark, wouldn't it? Anyway, Alex is about to delete everything on his phone because of the malfunctions that he keeps getting at school. And it completely ruins everything that the girl he's about to ask to go to the dance. However, when Matt does this... I know I'm supposed to play the footage to understand, but I don't want copyright to happen in my video. What they're doing in this scene is that Matt just does random faces. I'm not sure how, and I really don't care. But what I really do care is that when Alex completely unplugs the phone, everything that was deleted in the phone was resurrected. That's it. This crosses the line. Why would everything be resurrected? I mean, seriously. If everyone had their phones plugged in while they were deleting the app and they unplugged it, I want to know if everything got resurrected, because this is by far the most stupidest and most awful moments ever seen in movie history. Seriously, this twist makes no sense. You know what? I can't do this anymore. I can't watch the end of this movie. This is the second time I've done this since I made Fred. The characters just win at the end, and Smiley is just gone for good. And then Alex gets to hang out with the girl that he's been looking after. Do I really need to talk about the ending after the resurrection of everything? Because I really don't have to. This movie just crosses the line. So what have we learned from the Emoji movie? All I can just say is, is that in all kinds of plagiarism. Three words. More cons of plagiarism. That's why I think about this movie. Seriously, Sony Pictures Animation had this idea to make a movie about Americans, but scrapped the idea of the Popeye movie. It's by far one of the worst decisions that I have ever seen. I just got nothing else to say about this movie except that it's so terrible, it also manipulates people, mostly kids. This is something I want to talk about. You want to know why this movie got so much money? It's because it manipulates kids to think that they're watching a very great movie. Even though that Inside Out, Wreck-It Ralph, and The Laker movie are far better than this movie. They're literally targeting little kids who don't understand the quality of anything at all. I really don't blame the kids because they just want to see it or what they want. But if you have if your parents and you have kids, avoid this movie. Seriously. Please have them watch Inside Out, Wreck It Ralph, and the Lego movie. They're way better movies than the Emoji movie. I know I completely skipped everything in this movie, but who cares? I can't even tolerate everything, and everyone who completely explain of what's wrong in this movie pretty much says everything that I don't need to explain, except that it manipulates people. <sighs> I'm sorry that this mystery movie review wasn't anything special, but I've seen everything that was talked about, and I don't need to explain everything that needs to be talked about. I give this movie a 1.5 out of 10. The animation may be the good part of this movie, but everything else is a plagiarism of cringeworthy. And please, when you comment down below, don't talk about the IGN controversy of the Milo Pony movie and this movie. Seriously. I don't understand what's wrong with IGN. And I hope that fanboys, whoever see IGN do this again, will go into the company and saw Wyatt. <sighs> Other than that, 
I'm finally done with this review. I'll see you next time when the Equestria Ghost for Gon Fire Jump comes out. I'm Lonely Fanboy Flay here, and please watch better movies with original stories instead of this movie.